Now every city will tell you they got a great underground art scene. But in Hobart, they're not kidding. Literally 56 feet underground. It's called the Museum of Old and New Art. Mona is a museum that defies convention. From its subterranean galleries to the tennis court entryway, Mona is far from your typical white-walled museum. And if you think the outside of the museum is unusual, then you need to look closely at the exhibits. Mona has more than 300 works, and there's absolutely nothing traditional or stuffy about anything here. We're talking about some really wild interactive art, like the Pulse Room. Forget going to your doctor for a checkup. This is much more fun. You see, you come in here, you put your hands on this, and then guess what happens? Your heartbeat, your pulse rate, is reflected in over 180 lights. Now, I can't tell you if I'm healthy, but it looks pretty cool. One of my favorite exhibits down here is something called Bitfall. You hear that noise behind me? That's water dropping from the ceiling, but it's not just water, it's words. The top 10 Google search words on Australian Google in water. Talk about performance art. I've been coming to Australia since I'm 25, and this country never ceases to surprise me. And that's really the beauty of this place, because while it has great history, it's constantly changing. And what that means is an almost endless supply of authentic, genuine experiences, not to mention some pretty incredible hidden gems. I'm Peter Greenberg, and thanks for watching.